News now, local lawmakers are reacting to a big decision by the Supreme Court today and a big win for President Trump. The high court upheld the president's controversial travel ban, which applies to seven mostly Muslim countries. This ruling is on the third version of the ban, which was issued in September. Our investigative reporter, Angie Ricono here now. And Angie, what are you hearing at this point from local lawmakers on this? Well, Carolyn, we are seeing mixed reaction here at home as people weigh in on this 5-4 split from the court. And some lawmakers have been silent on this high-profile issue. Today's Supreme Court ruling uh, just coming out, a tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people. President Trump's travel ban is squarely within the scope of a president's authority. That's what the high court ruled in a 5-4 split. Here are the countries listed in the travel ban. Venezuela. Libya, Syria, Iran, Yemen, Somalia, and North Korea. Reaction from our local lawmakers was almost immediate. Congressman Cleaver, I am troubled by the Supreme Court's decision to uphold the travel ban. President Trump's travel ban on specific countries undoubtedly targets Muslims. It is discriminatory and immoral. Missouri's Attorney General Josh Hawley, I am pleased to see the Supreme Court uphold the president's power to make national security decisions. States rely on the federal government to make decisions regarding alien entry into the United States for public safety and national security reasons. U.S. Senator Claire McCaskill. Nothing about today's decision changes my commitment to keeping Missourians and all Americans safe in a way that upholds our most cherished values. We reached out to Senator Blunt. He has not made a statement at this time. This ruling has prompted protests in front of the Supreme Court, as people argue if this travel ban reflects safety or discrimination. Angie Ricono, KCTV 5 News. All right, thank you, Angie. We also